Well, the big one, Anthony, the one you've been looking forward to most. Yep. Jake Paul against Nate Diaz. So it is another crossover fight. It's another, well, Jake Paul, if you, if, you know, if, yeah. if you accept him as a boxer, he's a boxer fighting a former MMA man. Yeah. How does this one all work out? Do you know I know what? you're across it's... both sports in fairness, aren't you? So. Yes, yeah. So, um, listen, I think it's really interesting this because, and it was a few years ago, Nate Diaz has been talking about boxing for a long time. And I remember um, at Goosen seeing him and, and them saying, listen, he really, can, he really can box. So in my head, I was thinking, I always remember that. And I think, well, if, he, if you know if he can box, and they're not, they're not idiots down there, the, you know, the champions that they brought through. It's, this is a really risky fight for Jake Paul. But you just feel like, obviously, they've waited a little bit longer. But then you could say with Jake Paul, he is ch obviously he challenged himself with the Tommy Fury fight. He, on paper again, he's talking about someone who's talked about boxing in Nate Diaz for such a long time. And what he is, Nate Diaz, big southpaw, big, long, rangy southpaw. And there's no denying one of his assets at his work rate. And he takes an unbelievable shot, or he certainly did. And I think you're going to see him look coming out long, long for Jake Paul. And it's just how I believe with Jake Paul, what he's going to be looking to do. He's coming over the top, bang, dropping that right hand, dropping that right hand. And there's a difference again. He lands that right hand on people who aren't boxers. I know he put Tommy Fury down, probably more of a balance issue. But they go over, they go over like, and that's what's happened where we've seen some of these huge knockouts. <sighs> it's a bit wrong, isn't it, saying I think Nate Diaz is going to get, you know, she, but I think it might be. I think this might be the time where I just think age has probably caught up with him. Age likes doing other things outside of training, which he has done for years. Um, but I just believe it's going to be a shootout inside three rounds. I'll be, I'll be surprised if it's either way, if he's not stopped, Nate, if Nate Diaz hasn't stopped Jake Paul on his feet just through walking forward. But I just think, Jake sounds mad saying this, Jake might be a little bit too cute for him at this point. And I believe he's probably improved again since the Tommy Fury fight as well, Jake Paul. And I believe he'll, um, he'll just find a home for that big right hand, which there is no denying, no matter your, your views of him, when he's landed that right hand in the past, we've seen some, some sickening knockouts. And I just believe, yeah, he'll stop Diaz. Whether it'll be on his feet or it'll put him over, I don't know. But, um, yeah, Jake, Paul, stoppage. Fairly early. Yeah, I think it's going to be a shootout, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. I just think the I think he'll look to set a pace, Diaz, walking forward like he does in the MMA. It's, um, I don't think he'll take a backward step, really, but I mean, it could be wrong, but I just think inside three to four rounds, it'll all be over.